Hello, welcome to the Ludo and Aricon 2020 demos and this is Neocab. Neocab is just described as an interactive story and is developed by Chance Agency. Now I'm pretty, oops, oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh, what have I done? Sorry, I just accidentally screwed what I was doing up there, but um, I was just checking if there was any subtitles. English UK. I've turned auto advanced text off um, just to see how that is. Night one, the desert outskirts, Los Ojos, California. So yeah, this is about driving a cab. There comes a point in any long drive when your mind goes a little off the road. It's like the flashing lines in the highway hypnotise you in some weird way. Like it's normal to talk to the clouds. I'll come up with a name for the hundredth Joshua tree you pass in this endless desert. I was officially at that point, and so was Jojo. Only 40 miles to go to Los Ojos, my new life, my old friend, to my new life, to my oldest friends. It was like a gift when Savvy called me last week. My life was going nowhere fast and she knew it. It used to be her life too. Losing jobs to Capra Al's, Al, Capra's Al. Juggling a dozen gigs and still coming up short. Getting way too comfortable just being sad. So when she offered to be roomies again, this time at her place in the big city, it didn't matter anymore what had come between us or what we'd said when we were angry. All that mattered was the road ahead. That and the battery charges that had sent me back 30 coin. Nothing like rolling into your new life completely broke. No problem. This is cool, cool, cool. You're a driver. Just drive. If I could pick up even one ride out there, it I'd be in a better place. Maybe even get a fancy here's to us cocktail with Savvy, like old times. I started up Neocab. Oh. Hello Lena. <clears throat> Driver rating 4.9. Daily goals 35 dollars. Three rides. Driver rating. Yeah, we've said that. <laughs> Ride history. Okay, so journal. Look out, Los or Joss, here I come. To pack snacks, toothbrush, pajamas, books, and dad's vase. Basically everything. Excite. So. Excite. Very yes. What? <laughs> Top Neo cab driver in Los Angeles. Moving costs. Awesome. Capra cash. So this is our balance. So this is um. Recharge, lease, move and ship, and then we've earned a couple of jobs. Ma, let's see what we can do. There's a guy on route. Let's get him. Liam Bard, faster than a shutter snap. And I've got insufficient charge for these ones. 
I'd have to go to a charging station first. But if this is us then, it just makes sense that we go and get him, right? Liam. For a second, I thought maybe Liam had put his pin in the wrong place. This didn't feel like a convenient pickup spot for anyone. I could barely make him out at first. All I saw was desert and dusk. I feel like we're gonna get murdered. Then I spotted him, a lone figure. Oh, he got in the car, bags first, and squeezed in like he was their sidekick. <laughs> hey. Hi, pick up for Liam? So I think this is us talking, and this is us thinking, right? You are Liam, right? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. I could feel his anxiety creeping up from the back seat. I can't help it. I absorb that stuff like a sponge. Yes, thank God. Yes, okay. Sorry about that. Oh man. Uh, all good back there? I thought I spent all day out there in the desert taking photos of the stars and the LO skyline. I thought I'd lost my memory card. That bastard's smaller than a grain of rice. Why do they keep making them smaller? Damn, my heart's racing. His accent was smooth and musical, but I couldn't quite place it. Definitely not Southern California. Anyway, hello. Lena, right? Said on the app. Yep, that's me. Awesome, thanks for picking me up all the way out here in Norwaresville. No problem. I was headed this way anyway. Plus, Neil Cab goes where Capra fears to tread. Where are you coming from? Cactus Flats. I don't know that one. Going to the big city on holiday? More like a permanent vacation. This car's carrying my whole life right now. I'm moving. Moving? That's huge. How are you feeling? I don't know. I think I'm... Excited? I've never been to Los or Joss before. Stop it. This is your first time in Automation City? Is that crazy? No, I mean, yes, moving somewhere you've never even visited. I was going to say I would never move somewhere I'd never visited. So many places that I thought I loved and then I went and I didn't like it. But damn, it's also very cool. Don't sweat it, it's mine too, though I'm just visiting. For work? Sort of, I'm a photographer, or trying to be. I'm taking a year off from my real job. To see what I can make happen. Sounds fun. A year to travel the world and take pictures. The dream. Literally. Savvy and I talked about doing something like that after college until I couldn't go. Instead, she met a guy, a sculptor, and lived that dream with him. They broke up after scream. <laughs> they broke up after a screaming fight in Milan, and she came home with a half-finished clay figure of herself. She always loved playing the muse. <laughs> so, what about you? Why hello? I'm moving in with my best friend. I actually haven't seen her in ages. We used to be super close, and then we kind of weren't. Why did that just slip out? <laughs> I always forget how easy it is to spill your secrets when you only make an eye contact with the road in front of you. For sure, I've moved a lot. UK, France, Canada, now here. Sort of fading in and out of different friend groups, maintaining most of my relationships online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So why now? What made you make the leap? 
she asked. <laughs> All she ever had to do was ask. I just realised that my life isn't as good without her in it. I love that. Sometimes it's just the only thing that makes sense, right? Exactly. It'll be a fresh start for us. I hope. Guess this photography thing is sort of my fresh start. So while you're getting the keys to your new place tonight, I'll probably be out snapping pictures of Capra Tower. Cover tower, gross. Um, we can stay polite. I mean, I hope you get some good shots. Ooh, your emotional state affects which options you can choose. Heat flared into my face, just hearing that name made me furious. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's not then. Well, why give me the option? <laughs> Doing a cover shoot for Multinational Monster Magazine? Hey, whoa. It's just a beautiful building. Okay, let's keep doing it. Yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly. Oh, yeah, you can afford beautiful buildings when you have a monopoly over the entire tech sector. The spoils of selling out human dignity, right? He shifted in his seat and tried to smile, but it was tight, uncomfortable. Capra. That name carried so much baggage for me. My first driving gig. My only income stream. Before they replaced me and every other driver with auto cars. Oh soulless capsules of glass and plastic but hey those things don't need health insurance i see i tend to have just seen their logo which was all over the place nearly every passing car was one of theirs right okay so this is set where there's auto cars already and they are putting taxi drivers out of a job Crawling our streets, covered in sensors, collecting data on everything and everyone. Just hearing Liam say the name had my heart pounding in my ears. Right, you're not a fan. We don't need to get into it. Oh, he didn't like that then. It felt like all the energy in the car had flipped. He was closed off suddenly, cold. This is exactly why everyone says talking Politics with the packs is the quickest way to tank your start rating. My 4.9 driver rating definitely didn't want me to push him. Of course, you're right. I'm not going to force him to get into it. Got to be professional. I didn't mean to be so snarky. What had gotten into me? My hackles were up and over what? A photographer who just wanted to pick wanted a picture of the famously impressive building exactly let's be rational here it was exactly what had happened with me and Savvy I got all emotional over something that wasn't really a big deal and I pushed her away you're so volatile Lena like I'm looking for reasons to be sad or worried like all my bad feelings just leap out of me and poison my life when actually everything was just fine I couldn't let that happen again with us. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I'm biased. I've kind of got a history with that whole company. It's all good, I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> I get there's a lot of baggage attached to Elo. Trust me, I really do, but I'm not here to pick it up. This week, for once, I'm just a tourist. Totally get it. Look, if I wanted a silent ride with a brainless driver, and a called Capra, you're much more fun. Didn't seem like you've been having fun. <laughs> As the sun went down, I could just make out the first lights of Elo appearing out of the desert. Suddenly, like a mirror, mirrorage. 
We were almost there. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to take a quick drink and it was not quick. The city lights spilled across my windshield as we crossed the Los Ojos sim city limits. He pulled out his camera and I heard the shutter clicking away behind me. I thought about my new apartment, my new life. No more nights alone, no more longing for change. I was making the change, I was ready. Here I am, Savvy. It's real. I did it. I pulled up to Leon's destination, a modest hotel. Nice. Mm. You know, this is gonna be great, right? You're doing something really big and I think it's gonna pay off. Thanks. And sorry again for being so testy before. I'm in a Capra town now and that's that. It's nothing. I've gotten into my share of arguments with cab drivers before. You have? Yeah. And with much worse opinions. Eh? Yeah. With much worse opinions. And listen. I know you've already got a friend in town. But I'll be crisscrossing town in neocabs all week. Maybe we'll get paired up again. I like that. He shouldered his luggage and headed into his hotel, waving at me as he disappeared through the doors. I waved back. I guess I'd made it. Is this um, a normal thing in di different countries to um, talk to your driver, like whatever, Uber or taxi or whatever? Is that a normal thing? I'm just curious. Because um, I would probably get one of the automated cars just so that I didn't have to make small talk. But these guys seem to get pretty deep, pretty fast. So I just wondered if it was um, a normal thing. Perfect rating. Nice. Liam Bard gave you five stars. A serendipity. Serendipitous, serendipitous driver. What's that word? Serendipitous driver. <laughs> Ride, I mean, with a spirited driver. Welcome to LO. Thanks, Liam. Your rating stayed the same. Five stars. Nice. Nice. We earned some cash. Now in outer lands and we need to charge our battery. New message from Savvy. This is Savvy. Just past palm strings in the home stretch. What's good, Lena? Hello my, hello my, hello my, hello my, hello my, honey. Guess where I am. You better be. I'm in Los Ojos. What's that? <laughs> I'm not sure what that expression is. Meet at your place? Is it not our place now? You mean our new place? Yeah, I do. Oh, mm, cheeky wink. Yep. Wait, actually. Come pick me up. Sending you a pin. Sure. We'll find out. Yes. I can't believe I get to see you so soon. My favourite, my literal favourite human. Oh my f. 
G keyboard smash <laughs> I don't know if this is an actual acronym oh my fucking god smash can't wait it's saviest still on night one how long had it been since I'd seen Savvy? Six months? No. A year? It didn't seem possible. Some days it was easy to feel like she was still around because everywhere I went in Cactus Flats was soaked with memories. Most days that just made me miss her even more. Nobody gets me like she does. Like really gets me. Being around her made me feel more like myself. Or maybe just made me like it more I saw her up ahead and my stomach flipped she does she like her like have a crush on her cuz like I get having friends that make you feel good about yourself that's wicked but my stomach doesn't flip when I see them L bunny You sure you want to sit way back there? Yep, I'm trying to get that authentic private driver experience, you know? Honestly, I just feel safer back here. You're the only reason I will get into one of these things. Oh my god, did you actually get prettier somehow? Damn girl! Come on. What have you been up to? Eh? Whatever you've been up to is working. God, seeing you again is like... Like home, you know? Me too. Sorry, could we... Let's talk more room? <laughs> being this close to Capra HQ creeps me out. Yeah, I thought it was weird you wanted to meet here. Oh, I was downtown and it's a giant eyesore, you know? Seemed easy for you to find. <laughs> well, now I know where to avoid. Exactly. So... Don't have lights like this back in the flats, right? The way we left things echoed in my head. Heat rushed into my cheeks. Was I turning red? My chest tightened and fluttered and I couldn't get enough air. I called her selfish and cried until I couldn't breathe. Right before I begged her not to leave. Was that what she was thinking about too? I'm sorry about how we left things. I just wanted to say... Ancient history. Whatever. I'm totally over it. Well, what have you been up to? Tell me everything. Well, I kind of bounced around for a while. Remember that guy who said I could crash with him and his roommates? Definitely remember how he always called me Lisa. Turned out his roommates were more like his parents. They were super sweet and their place was nice as fuck. And oh my god, so clean. But then his mum gave us matching sweaters for Christmas. I swear I felt myself shrivel into a little ghost right then and there over the eggnog. Yikes. Very. Compared to perfect family time, social activism is way more chill. Just some foggies too afraid of their own shadows to really affect change, but I can work with that. Speaking of, I can't believe we're back in your old steery. This thing knows all my secrets. And you know I love retro as much as the next girl, but would you mind parking a little down the street from my place? People would get really weird if they thought I was pro-car. 
It's just a big issue in my work right now, you know? Uh, are you anti-car? I mean, kinda. Nothing personal, but that's like shop talk for me. We don't have to get into it, right? Not get into a fight right away? Sounded good to me. Sure. But wait. Where are we going? What's your address? Oh yeah, pull over. You live here? No, I just remembered. I got you a present. Oh no, I didn't get you anything. You're here, like, for good. That's enough for me, old bunny. L bunny. <laughs> okay, I'll pull over. So there's this whole car thing going on as well. So she's anti-car. Like, anti-car totally or anti-driver car, you know? Close your eyes and hold out your right hand. Um, are you gonna... No. Unlike you, psychopath, I will not put a bug in it. It wasn't a bug, it was a caterpillar. And it was fuzzy. Oh, I remember. Come on, give me your hand. I forgot who, how tiny her hands were and how they were always so cold. <clears throat> how are your fingers so freezing in the middle of the desert? Must be the ice that runs through my veins. Jace is always whining about it. Who's Jace? She slipped something metallic onto my arm. If you're not gonna shut your eyes, at least stop fidgeting. It tightened to a snug fit around my wrist. Ooh, what's this? Whoa. What is it? Is it a mood bracelet? It's a feel grid. It's a 6th gen biofeedback device. For your feels! It is a mood bracelet! The colour and intensity shows your mood, basically. The way you feel in your body at that exact moment. You're yellow, which means you're feeling positive. So is her necklace a mood necklace? Probably because of my awesome gift. Feels a bit... Oh yeah, I've got the necklace edition, see? Feel good green. That feels a bit invasive to me. I would hate that gift. <laughs> I don't want people to know how I'm feeling. Now, we can both have like total awareness of our emotional well-being. You know, take care of each other and all that junk. Oh, Savius. It's like the bestest best friendship bracelet necklace ever exactly I want to know what all the different colours mean so it's reading my brain waves nah it reads your blood um yeah it sounds like a mood ring that's what I was thinking did they ever actually work it totally <laughs> it totally is except it actually works I always wanted to buy a mood ring every time I went into a shop that had one. Everything we feel is because our brain has triggered some chemical to flood our system, right? So this has a little sensor that reads all the molecules as they go surfing through your tubes. Um, so cool. It's a bit ew. But... Eh, just what I need more technology in my life. I mean, I <laughs> feel like I should stay positive. So cool. See, it just moved towards green, which means you got a little more chilled out. There it is. Hot, cold, up, down. 
there are, oh she's gonna explain there are four basic colors yellow is like feel good green but higher intensity happy sunny excited red is angry anxious agitated and blue is well blue oh well, that makes sense <laughs> I don't know, I thought it'd be really cool for you to see your colours. People can be so fake, you know? Are you trying to say that I'm fake? <laughs> I'm not fake. I just don't like the idea that someone could look at my wrist and know that I was annoyed or something, you know? Sometimes you don't have to let everyone know everything. But everyone... I know, with a feel grid, <clears throat> it's like an emotional superpower. Keeping it real is like second nature now. I still like to keep it real just because I don't like the idea of a mood bracelet. Doesn't mean I don't keep it real. It just means I have control over it. Like, you know, I don't know. I do keep it real. Why am I taking this so personally? Like, I don't want everyone to know if I'm sad. I can still, I don't want to ruin everyone else's day. But I'm still keeping it real. I'm just staying quiet in the corner. <laughs> even without talking for months, she still knew me so well. She didn't even see how I'd gone off on Liam just now. Uh, I've been a little all over the place, honestly. I get it. That This just lets you know what you're feeling is real, but that it's temporary. Plus, now you'll know when your packs are giving you too much shit. Packs are getting his passengers, right? Too blue and you'll probably need to take a break. Too red, then you got to stand up for yourself, okay? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's see what the colours mean again. Don't worry, there's a whole app on your phone with the details. But red is like fire, feeling all agitated. Yellow is when you feel like sunshine and daisies. Blue is for blues, obviously. Green is chillax, like, I don't know, a bottomless margarita after a shitty day. Get it? So if I'm mad, it'll glow red. Exactly. That feels like invasion of privacy. <laughs> this thing tells people they're pissing you off so you don't have to. Oh, well, that sounds quite good. <laughs> You're selling me. I know confrontation is more my thing. As you can see, I'm surfing a chill green wave at the moment. Chill as a cucumber. Lena, you're still saying it wrong. What's it supposed to be? Why are we getting mad? Cool. Cool as a cucumber. Oh my god, I missed you. Damn, I even tried to remember it. Like, cucumbers are served chilled. Well, I miss you too, lady. See? Now I know I made you happy and not like pissed at me. Uh, why would I be pissed? It's not a big deal, but the, the way we fought when I left. She just told me that she was totally over it and she is not. I wasn't trying to hurt you. I know. I really don't want my feelings to upset anyone. But you do feel things, a lot actually. Which is something I really love about you. Your heart is so amazing and the way you feel things, it's kind of beautiful. But bottling all that up doesn't make it go away. I see what they're saying. And when it all comes out, it's kind of intense. Like that night. I 
I'm just gonna agree with that. You're right. I'm sorry. But I'm here, and you're here, and we're starting over. And we're both gonna be better about seeing how we feel, yeah. I didn't want to risk making her mad. The weight on my chest would pass. Yeah, I want to say that. Oh, I can't. And we're good, right? <laughs> Hell yes. I felt a weight lift off my ribcage. Okay. Why are we feeling sad then? We're in sync again. We could always talk about serious stuff later. Savvy and I had all the time in the world now. Oh, we're happy again. So, how do we get to your place? Mm. I'm starving. Oh shit, I'm really sorry, but... Can you take me somewhere else really quick first? Sure, where are we going? Well, I need you to drop me off, actually. It's this guy, and trust me, it's kind of a huge mess. You don't want to know. Oh, jeez. Also, you can't... Oh, look, she's sad about it as well. Um, you can't be anti-car and then ask me to drop you off places, right? <laughs> and then get in more drama and drag me into it. Is everything okay? I kind of like to call it midnight, actually. I came all this way to see... Is everything okay? Totally. Kind of. I don't know, honestly. I kind of fucked up at work and I've just got to fix it before shit comes down on my head. I wish we could just go straight to this awesome ramen shop you're going to love instead of helping my dumb ass. It's a little embarrassing. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. It's all going to be fine. I just gotta do this one little thing before it blows up and then I gotta keep my job. Then I get to keep my job, thank the gods. And we don't have to start looking for a cheaper place. Get in. It didn't really sound like she was kidding. I never heard her take any job so seriously before or even hint at money problems. Maybe we'd have more in common this time around too. No worries, I got you. You're the best. I mean it. Well, right back at ya. He lives in- well that didn't cheer her up. He lives in this totally weird rich person dorm called Kinfolk. This place is crawling with techie scum. What do you have to do? She rubbed her knees together. She was- she always did that when she was feeling uncomfortable. I wonder if she knew that. He's a good client and I ran my big mouth and pissed him off. So now we have to go and ask Kiss a little, give the baby his bottle. He's been dying to get into this club and tonight I can actually make it happen. But you should totally come meet up with me and Jace later. You could just pick up another ride, right? Who knows, maybe it'll be some cutie who wants to show you around hello. Hang on. Seriously though, who's Jace? I wanna know who Jace is. My guy. It's only been a minute, but we have this super intense con connection. Like sunshine, butterflies, all that shit. I bet you'll really like him. I can try and get you on the list. Let me just text Jace. No, we're gonna be cool. Okay, cool. So how long have you been with him? Yes, cool, okay. He says he'll text you all the deets soon. Great, I'll just wait for the deets. I just gotta do this thing and then you should head over. But she's happy again, but she avoided my question. When I asked how long they've been together. Is that what I asked? I can't remember. <laughs> so when... Oh, this is it, kinfolk. I 
I'll let you in like an hour. No, I'll text you in like an hour tops, okay? Then come meet us. Sounds good. See you soon, Rumi. Welcome to LO and remember, pick up a cute packs next. I watched her bounce up the illuminated steps and vanish into a soaring apartment tower. Half spacecraft, half greenhouse and covered in glowing triangles. That sounds like a cool apartment tower. What was this place? Capra cars buzzed around me like I was in some kind of nest. A few of the people inside gave my car a definite look from behind their tinted windows and they were right. I wasn't supposed to be here. I was supposed to be with Savvy and even for her. What? Okay, I don't think I read that sentence properly because I don't understand. Maybe I'd misjudged our friendship or this was a little much. Maybe I'd misjudged our friendship. Maybe she'd moved on. But it was just a detour, no big deal. I'd do one more ride to earn some coin, then we'd be back in sync. Why are we so obsessed with her? Things just had a way of being spontaneous with me and Savvy, and I was never as happy as I'd been when we were together. Sorry, one sec. Right. Hello, how are you feeling today? Oh, it's the feel grid. Your new feel grid is a biofeedback device that displays your emotional state as a color, yellow, green, red, or blue. Intense, in a good way. Your feel grid also measures the intensity of your emotions in three levels, low, medium and high. The more your feel grid lights up, the more intense your feelings. The circumplex. This map represents the full spectrum of emotions, yes, even the icky ones. Each segment is a unique state. Even though you may feel like a jumble of emotions, your feel grid will let you know which one you are actually experiencing, even if it's a little unpleasant. That's interesting though. So what are all these spectrums of feeling like sunshines and daisies and feeling chill? And then I suppose, yeah, angry and chill are the opposite and blue and sunshine and I suppose sunshine and daisies and happy, sad, angry, chill. Okay, that makes sense. So you can be chill and sad. You can be angry and sad. I suppose it's impossible to be sad and happy at the same time, so it makes sense. You can be happy and... and can you be happy and angry? Yeah, yeah, you can be. Okay, right, I see. Feel free. Notice how you think and react when you're in each colour. The idea of the feel grid is to simply illuminate... is simply to illuminate the feelings in your body so you can tune into your emotional awareness. Okay, so that's what it was. Positive, negative, hot or cooler. So... Let's just uh, get my head around this. So yeah, hotter and positive is hyper. Cooler and positive is cheerful. Hotter and negative, angry, hotter and cool. Uh, cooler and negative, anxious. Yeah. Positive and hotter... And half right, yeah, yeah, okay. Chill is maximum. Calm is just a bit depressed, lethargic. Okay, I get it. Stay centers. There's no such thing as bad emotion, really. Just remember that the dark outer edges of the maps are more intense feelings, while the lighter shades in the center are more mellow. One last thing all emotions are valid, but the outer limits of the field grid are meant to tell you something, like it's time to take a break, take a nap. Or even just take a moment to centre. Now take a deep breath and good luck out there. Current status, you're in the blue. You may be feeling sadness, depression or despair. In the blue, your body is at its lowest energy point in a negative way. You will likely feel unmotivated to do even basic tasks like eating, engaging in hobbies or self-care. You will be easily swayed by others and have trouble making, your mi making up your mind. Boost your mood by talking to a trusted friend or exercise. 
not FDA approved. Oh, okay. Well done. Right. So I guess we can check that every time we do this then. We only got $6 for that last one. Um, and we need to get 35 so we've got work to do. Um, and didn't we drive him all the way from out in the desert? So we must have to do... Maybe, maybe we charge more in the city. I don't know. Journal. New entry. Jace will send you the deets. So over it. And your awesome DJ. What? <laughs> okay. Um, checked all that. Map. Yeah, we need to charge up, don't we? Our power is right down. So it must be an electric car. We've still got our five stars. And here's the sea. So each district seems to have an electric point. These are the people that we're going to drive around tonight. And obviously first we need to go there. Coin only. No USD accepted. Juice by Capra. So Capra provides the electric to our car. Definitely time for a recharge. Plus, the weird way the hum of the charging stations made my head feel stuffed with cotton. I kind of loved it. Even if it was probably killing my brain cells. It would cost me 132 per bar. A little steep, but here I was. Um, I'll get the full charge. I continue my night. What's the point in not getting the full charge? Um, right, so we have Ali Bream, Peace Love Vanello, and Anthony Colton, Founder and Chief Cat Herder at Cure It All. Put an agenda dent in the universe. G agenda. Gentler dent in the universe. And that's telling us how much. Is that. Is that saying how much charge it'll use or how much we need? Oh no, that would be the same. No, what I'm saying is that would be the same thing, wouldn't it? Um. Do I only need this amount here or do I need all of this amount there? That's what I mean. Okay, we'll do this one first because. That'll take us next to a charge station again in case we need it. It can't take up all of that charge because we would be making a loss at this rate. Ali, sorry, I'm running, running to meet you but still two blocks away. Run! <laughs> Can you just stop at the next corner instead of the pickup zone? I'm out of breath. Great. Not doing what the packs wanted could hurt my star rating, but pulling over in a navy zone would risk a stop from the LOPD. Not to mention a ticket that would send me back some serious coin. No, we're not risking. We can't start risking it. I drove past the pin and block. Hey, sorry, can we go? I don't have an answer <laughs> for that. Is there something else oh I can Oh my god, help? Siri, not you! That's the second time since I started this series. Capra. Um, of course. It's cool. What's cool? I glanced at her suit for a second. What was she wearing? Half my packs and have eh? half my packs have those hollow space displays, but the full body thing? Barely an hour here and already Savvy was flaking and my packs was covered in weird gadgets. Welcome to Los Ojos. That's pretty cool, it's Iron Man style. What's good? Any plans tonight?
Yeah, kinda. I just moved here. And it's been interesting. I'm not gonna tell her that she's been flaky. I took a deep breath. Come on, Savvy. I thought we were past this. We're dwelling too much, man. <laughs> yeah, Ella is pretty interesting, no matter what. Oh wait, I gotta top up. Mind if I plug in? The suit's running low. My car ba my car's battery was terrible at holding charge, but it looked like I could spare some at the moment. Yeah, we need the good rating, right? I'm pretty sure that's important. We already wouldn't stop, so this might make up for it. Thanks, gotta stop forgetting to charge at every stop. Capra makes you pay extra to use the port in their cars. Hey, we don't nickel and dime people here in Neocab. Never let people say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing. Maybe this good deed will help me when I'm limping along to a charging station later. Ooh, maybe it will. You don't have to worry about your rating with me. I used to be a Capra mate. Keep it above 4.8 stars or else. Um, that's pretty strict. Seriously, you get one person having a bad day and there goes your rating. You ever work for Capra? I did. Never again. A lot of drivers went into Capra mates after the culling. We got a pretty raw deal. Let's say that. Capra just patched our cars over the air. I was right at the beginning of a shift. I booted up, but the wheel was locked. Then it drove me home. Seriously? I would have freaked out. So wait. Sorry, one sec. How long have you been driving for Neocab? It's so annoying when packs try to pretend they didn't just zone out into their hollow space for a second. Almost two years. But I try not to think about it. M moving on though. What's your opinion of Neocab, the company? Was I missing something about these questions? And how honest did she expect me to be? Um... Seems like it's been alright. I don't know how to answer that honestly. So it's great. Oh hey, did you see the sign we just drove past? That's like the best barn me in town. The words went straight to my stomach. I hadn't stopped to eat all night. Ooh, do they have vegan pate? No, but they do have this machine spun soy protein fibre mesh. It's like umami cotton candy. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> so hey, what would you say your opinions on Sophie's Law? Uh, would you say your... Are we getting surveyed or something? <laughs> would you say your opinions on Sophie's Law are mostly positive or negative? Um, remind me what that is. Sorry, that's a dumb question. Why would a Neocab driver be for something that bans all non-automated cars? Okay, so Sophie's Law wants to ban all non-automated cars. Driver-driven cars. So, a few weeks ago, that famous ballet dancer died in a car attack. People were just out having a good time and this guy drove straight into a crowd. Sophie and like 15 other people were killed. That's awful. Who's the driver? Nobody knows. They never released his name or else... I don't know. Some people think it was all planned to get this law to happen. 
Anyway, the vote is in a few days, so it'll all blow over soon. Blow over? If the law passed, it looked like I'd be out of a job. A capra buzzed by me. Of course, make human drivers, drivers illegal, and how else would people get around the city? So, I know it's dumb, but I just need a clear answer. Here, I'll repeat the question. Ooh, she's talking so weird. Why would you say opinions... Would you say your opinions on Sophie's Law are mostly negative or positive? Wait a sec. Was she reading these off some kind of script? Yeah. What's up with all the questions? Alright, you're new in town. I do Sue's Valence for Capra. Sue Valence? Yeah, it's like surveillance from above, surveillance is from below. Is that French? It's Capra speak to me. I don't really get it either. Every time I say it, it sounds like I'm getting called out for being short. They've got cameras and sensors all over the suit. I'm like a big sponge sucking in data from everything and sending it to Capra. I'm glad I didn't say anything bad about Neocab then. So you've been recording our conversation all along? That's creepy as. Yeah, sorry. Forget I'm even doing it. It's just always tracking. Ambient radiation, my own vitals. If there's an off the shelf sensor for it, I'm probably wearing it. So, those questions are what Capra wants to know about us, huh? They let us chat a little bit, but yeah, it's their questionnaire. I knew it! Like opposition research stuff. Gotta fill my quota. I'm really sorry, I just assume everyone I talk to knows. So I've been talking to Capra this whole time about me, about the job I scraped together when they fired me. I felt my shoulders tighten and dug my nails into the wheel. All the Capra snaking through the lanes suddenly came into focus like a swarm, like I was surrounded. Let's breathe. I try to breathe. Calm down. I gotta say, I wish I got some warning. Oh no, that does not look good. She was staring at my wrist. My field grid was blazing red. Like, you can't be angry about the surveillance when you're wearing that bracelet. <laughs> well, you can, but still. Let me switch this damn thing off. Can you do that? I just did. I should have realised when you said it's your first night in LO. All this stuff is normal to me. Well, at least she's nice. We're so focused on metrics. It's a terrible introduction, but... Welcome to Los Ojos. We got great food and shitty panopticon. Won't you get in trouble for shutting it off? <clears throat> I might But it's not worth making you feel miserable You feel? Eh? Not worth making you miserable You feel? She was quiet for the first time I could feel her relaxing now that the suit had gone dark Ali flashed a smile at me I could finally see her face Anyways I love your hair I cut mine short like that once I miss it. In this heat, I just want to shave it all off, but that's a whole look, you know? Am I babbling? It's been too long since I've talked to someone real. Ever since I took this job, it's like I'm just a passenger in this suit, you know what I mean? Capra does the talking, and I'm along for the ride. For what it's worth, I'm glad I got out of Capra. 
Well, more like one day my do job drove away without me. I still have the keys somewhere. I might bury them in the desert. Definitely. I pulled up to a shopping centre, skyscrapers on one side and the skeletons of their future neighbours on the other. Hey Ali. Yeah, don't give up. You'll find something better. I suppose if the conversation had gone a different way, we might not have been able to say that because we weren't happy. Yeah, gotta stay on your hustle, right? Thanks for not kicking me out of your car. Mm. What does this I'm sure we've read this before. Never let him say gig worker solidarity isn't a thing, right? Damn right. I'll hit you up if I need a real human again. Good luck in Los Arjos. See, we're getting some repeat customers here. I watched this suit blink back to life as she vanished into a crowd of shoppers. Looks like Capra could find their way into my car no matter what. Even through a sweetheart like Ali. We did it. <sighs> Ali Bream give you five stars. Gig folk gotta stick together. She was cool, I liked her. But we're not gonna earn $35 or coin or whatever it is. Coin. Yeah, and we've still got three bars. As I turned the top corner, I saw the car. A throng of people had gathered in the street. They surrounded an empty Capra car in a messy circle. They were yelling, barking things at each other and at the car. Oh shit. The old car made dozens of tiny rapid fire turns trying to free itself from the circle. I thought of a moth trap between window panes. Then another sound was at my back door. Eh? Another sound. Was that my back door? What the hell? I need to get out of here. I I need you to go. I'll pay. What the? Listen, I'll explain, but we need to go. You're in your cab, right? I'm... You drive people. We need to go. I can't be here. Uh... You feel grid state colours you feel grid state colours your choices. Sometimes adding new options and sometimes disabling them. But we're red at the moment, so can I not do the breathe one? Oh so Yeah, so we have to What the hell are you doing in my car? But we were happy before. You want a ride? You go through Neocab. You don't just open my door without asking. Look, I'm sorry, seriously. But that's my fucking bike under the wheels of that Capra, okay? I nearly died and if we don't get out of here now, the cops will be here and my life will actually be over. I can explain everything, but first you need to put some distance between us and that mob. Um... Are we still red? Yeah, okay. So we can either say no or we can say I get it. That sounds... No, I don't even think we can say that. Ah. You know what? No. If the cops are coming, that's your issue. Then stop telling me what to do from the back seat in my own car. I let the silence and tension fill the space. Pax looked so scared. The mob outside was getting worse, and I really, I and did I really want to deal with the LOPD right now? Hey, hey, you've got panic eyes. I see you. 
Do you see me? I can usually get a read on a person the first time I see their face. Savvy calls it my truth download. Not like she ever listened when it was about someone she wanted to date. But I needed to be calm to hear that little voice inside my head. And this pax had me all riled up. I met their eyes in the rear view mirror. And it worked. It was as clear as if they were saying it out loud. I knew they were sorry, they were safe, and they were just trying to survive. Like me. You're the sort of person who feels things inten really intensely, right? Well, this is an intense situation. Please, take one second to see me asking you for help. And drive. I drove. Nope, I didn't drive then. I held their gears. I felt the fear evaporate. My pulse slowed. There we go. They trailed off as they watched my field grid crash from angry red into a chill green. And it seemed to calm them down too. You're wearing one of these feel things and it looks like we're cool. Choose your words and packs carefully to shift your mood in a new direction and change your story. Um, so what, this, does that mean this is an important decision? Because I don't just want to instantly say we're cool, but I want him to know that it's not right, but I don't want him to get out of the car. Well, this still isn't right, you know. That's good, because me and the LOPD are not. Floor it. I got us out of there in the nick of time, and just as the squad cars rolled up and the bike punk scrambled into the night. What's your name? I'm Azul. Ow, why does adrenaline ever have to wear off? This shit hurts, dude. I'm Lena, where are we going? Take me. Shit, I need to get out of work. I work at this club in Luz Rouge. It's not too far. I'm shit. Ow. Are you okay? I think he needs to go to the hospital. <laughs> I'm I'm bleeding. Oh no, can I help? Can you give me stitches and antibiotics? No. Is it that bad? No, forget it. I'm just rattled. Thanks for asking. And don't worry, I won't mess up your car. That was thoughtful. Neocab is supposed to cover cleaning costs for things like that. But once they do, there's always a mysterious operation surcharge that pops up in your paycheck a few weeks later. I got hit by a Capra. I was on my bike. It came out of nowhere, sideswiped me, and then it just kept driving right over my fucking bike. Did you get a plate number? Shit, no, I didn't. Don't bother going back though, forget it. And those people just showed up? No, no, I called a randic, a radix swarm. Is that a fancy term for an angry mob? I just wanted to drive and keep it simple. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was just talking. Um, what is a radix swarm? You know who radix is, right? No clue. We're activists. We stand up against corporate entities like Capra. Radix is all about direct action to change the city for the people. Getting rid of cars, that's just the seed. What grows from that are safer streets, public transit, that works, a big chunk bitten out of the luxury market. Most people just see us as punks on bikes, but most people are blind. Um, sounds like important work. Okay. I don't do it to make people happy. 
especially not drivers. It's about building our own community. If you're a member of Radix and you're in trouble, like if you get hit by a fucking Capra, you send up a flare on the app to call a Radix swarm. It alerts the other members, shows them where you are, tells them you need help. Um, so that was help. It doesn't seem like it did much for you if you're here with me. It, I just, it got crazy. I don't know. I didn't expect that. Is it your first time calling a swarm? Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. It's not supposed to be like that. What's it supposed to be like? I don't know. I thought they'd save me. But it was like they just showed up to fuck up the Capra car. Nobody tried to get my bike or whatever. One dude helped me up, but like, the second I said I was okay, it didn't matter anymore. Neo cab to the rescue. Ugh. That makes it even worse. Oops. Why do you say that? Because it's still a fucking car. You're still putting people at risk every day. Plus, I shouldn't be riding around in a death machine in front of a bunch of Radix folks. Yeah, but how is a car any different to a bike? Getting out of there was the right idea. Do you think they saw me get in? Um. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Seriously? Just kidding, you're good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I didn't see them. It's not fucking funny. I could feel their fear still wound as tight as a drum. What a fucking night. My legs are killing me, my bike's gone. They're probably gonna ask me to leave rear decks. Would that be a bad thing? Yes, it would be a bad thing. I just mean because they didn't help you, I'm gonna get in a fight with this guy. They don't sound like they take care of their own. Whatever. Look, where I'm going, I don't want them to see me get out of your car. So if you can just drop me off like corner of Guadalupe and Sanders, I'll walk the rest of the way. On that leg? It's just a scrape, I'm fine. You sure you don't want to see someone about it? Maybe there's a free clinic nearby. In this town? Yeah, sure. They lean to look out the window. Okay, here's good. Maybe just pull into the alley? The whole block looked pretty deserted, but I still slipped into the shadows, whatever would put their mind at ease. You don't like record this, right? That's the Neo Cab deal. Oh, I can't click on. Right. No camera, nothing on the app, you were never here, as all. Okay. Well, how much do I owe you? $35. 10 coins should cover it. Yeah, fair price, I guess. I'm not just doing it for free. Not when I'm trying to earn some money. <laughs> Listen, thanks for not kicking me out of your car. I appreciate it. But like, what you saw... No worries, I'll keep it quiet. Thanks. Shit, wait, I didn't get your name. Lena. Cool, thanks Lena. I'm Azul. I said that, right? You did, and you're welcome. Have a good night. Azul stepped out in the car, stumbling a bit like they couldn't put too much weight on their knee. Without so much as a look back though, they shook it off and limped into the alley. It was well after midnight and I'd met my ride quarter 
I check my field grid pale green. On most nights I'd call it quits about now or maybe push it push on for one last ride if I had it in me. But until I heard from Savvy, I had nowhere to go. When was she gonna text me back? She's been a bit of a dick to be fair. She didn't even take you to the to the flat or anything. She just kinda left you. No, we haven't met our quarter. <laughs> Feel grid. You're in the green. You may be feeling sympathy, tranquility, or relaxation. In the green, both stress and energy levels are dropping in a positive way. You will likely be more patient and more able to think through difficult decisions. You are more introspective. You may also feel less interested in meeting new people. Crave comforts such as warmth and familiar foods. Keep your energy from becoming lethargic by engaging your mind. Cool. Good advice. I now have 90 coin. I didn't write any more in my journal. And we're going to go and pick up that other dude. Or maybe we're not. He's gone. <laughs> We were too late. I suppose that's fair. Klaus Berg, student of the world. Any opinions expressed on this feed are mine and mine alone. Um, Luke Howard, strategic intelligence analyst. Here, there, be opinions. Engage at own risk. Agnon, nourish me all ye in pain. I gather my strength to rise once again. The book of Metwop Metwopopian. So, that's a bit of a weird picture. <laughs> it's a bit creepy. Um, and he's only got three stars as a cab, so I suppose that could be entertaining. Oh, and he's got Neo Cab Prime, so I think we should choose him. We can get him and then we can go to that power station. Still on night one. Um, how long is this demo? Um, Luke was at New West Coast, a brutalist nightclub in with 19th century saloon doors. According to the neon signage, inside you could get liquor. He staggered through the doors like he was looking for his horse. Well, it found me. The sour sweet stink of booze flooded my car. Um, yeah, I took a second to adjust to the new air. Or maybe I should have said hi. He didn't seem to be in a talkative mood. I figured we should just get moving. In his bio, it did say that he has opinions or something. And then he... He seemed like maybe he would talk more. His head dipped out of my rear view for a second. Is he going to sleep? Oh, oh, hey. Um... Hey. Uh, did you know there's puke on the floor? Oh, that was him. I looked over my shoulder. Mm. Oh, God. Yeah, you see? The smell hit me. Was that absinthe and ribs? <laughs> My eyes watered. I smashed the button to crack my window. What the hell? Um, we can't be. Well, yeah. You mind opening your window? Yeah, yeah, no problem. I guess the air helped a little, but the ship had sailed. 
Dude, did you just throw up in my car? Uh, sorry? No, no, this was here when I got in. Your last passenger must have done that because I did not. Ali, would Ali have done that? Um, you sure you didn't do it? I think I'd know if I just puked. It's okay if you did. But I didn't. And I don't appreciate you accusing me when you don't have any proof. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> Good idea. Ooh. Annoyed. I think that's wise. Asshole. We passed the rest of the ride without another word or eruption. Luke kept his eyes on his phone, texting at warp speed and cackling between hiccups. I was still trying to decide if it was worse to breathe through my nose or my mouth. We finally arrived at his stop. It felt coming... It felt coming... Oh, I think maybe that's a typo. It felt like coming to the end. Wait. Felt coming to the finish line of a marathon. Have a good one, buddy. As he reached for the door, I looked him in the eye. <laughs> I want to say that. I'm very certain you bathed in my car. We're not chill, so we... Wait. He's going to give us a bad rating. I'm not... I don't want to say that if I don't have to. Um... I'm very certain you bathed in my car. <laughs> I did not throw up in your car. And if I did, I certainly wouldn't tell you. What a tosser. Luke was finally gone. Well, not all of him. I had to do something about that mess in the back. I held my breath and dealt with it. I was loving life in Los Orjos. Absolutely thrilling. I snapped a photo first. Neil Cap's supposed to reimburse us if we have proof someone got sick, but there's no guarantee. For a second, I thought it'd be funny if I sent it to Savvy. Let's see her ignore that. But I didn't do it. Move out to the big city, Lena. We'll have a great time. You'll muck up puke with a rag. Puke face. <laughs> Worst driver ever. <laughs> Luke Howard gave you one star. Driver picked me up with fresh vomit in the back seat. Unacceptable. I feel like there was no way around that. Like he was always going to say that, surely. Oh no. In Neo Cab <laughs> deactivation risk first warning. Neo Cab drivers should maintain a rating of four or higher to avoid deactivation. Surely they should check if you get a one star review. Like, it's not even as if he was complaining about our personality. He was just complaining about the puke. New message from Savvy. So sorry. Lena, fast as you can. You're scaring me. Your message failed to send. Great. Um, what? What? What was that? These are uh, little gif or gif or whatever you call gif things. Don't. <laughs> I don't understand. Um. I make my way over now. Hang tight, okay? What happened? An LOPD speed trap nearby nabbed me on the way over. Nearly nabbed me on the way over. Too close. I wonder if I'd said I was going to floor it if that would have caught me. But I still wasn't fast enough. This was definitely it. The locations of Savvy's SOS pin. 
It was just an empty lot between some abandoned storefronts. I could only see as far as my headlights, but there's no trace of her. No Texan, so sorry either. Call out a name? No, text. Try texting one more time. There was no answer. Had I just missed her? If I'd driven here faster, would she be getting into my car right now, laughing off her crazy night? It was so dark, I could barely see the broken bottles all over the ground. This wasn't a good place for anyone to wait around at night, especially alone, especially someone like Savvy. Then I saw it. Face down on the curb, her phone. I grabbed it and a chill ran up my arms. It was shattered right in the centre of the hollow screen, now totally dark and cold. It looked like it had been stepped on. On the back it said, a punk looking symbol of a wasp inside bicycle gear. I sketched it in my journaling app and stashed her phone in my glove box. I thought someone got in the car because I heard a dog go. That explained the radio silence. What had happened here? Someone must have grabbed it from her. Someone who didn't want to text me. Maybe that's what the gift thing was. Someone took a phone off her. Who would do that? If you know her at all, you know Savvy is not someone you should mess with. My field grid went to hard red. That seemed about right. I wondered what Savvy's field grid looked like right now. What was she feeling? What was she thinking? All I could imagine was not comforting. I tried to push my thoughts, push back my thoughts and focus on what I could do right now. I remembered what Azola told me about radix, no cops. My body felt crazy, like I was buzzing with nerves, but at the same time I could barely keep a thought in my head. I had nowhere to go, no one to help talk things out. All I could do was try and get some sleep. My only option was crash it to find a cheap motel or a spare room somewhere. Anywhere but a Capra capsule if I could afford it. I closed my near cab shift. At least I'd hit my quarter before the world turned upside down. That was good! You completed the near cab demo. But this trip is far from over. The full game is available soon on Steam. Wishlist us now so you'll be the first to know when we've reached our destination. Driver Lena. Class Human Provisional. Expires 51. Los Angeles, California. That was good. I like that. That was it was long. I didn't expect it to be so long. Um <clears throat> Like, just because I was complaining about some of the stuff in the story, it doesn't mean I didn't like the game. Um, or it doesn't mean that I didn't like it, I just didn't agree with some of the stuff. So, um, like having a mood bracelet on show, I, I would hate that. But um, it's interesting. It's very interesting. Like, in a world full of surveillance, that would be normal, probably. And maybe it would be helpful having conversations and knowing what the other person was feeling. Um, but yeah, um, and the whole, um, what's it called, like, not a war, but the whole conflict between automated cars and driver cars, and then also the people that want no cars, it's like, it's interesting, but they're riding on bikes, so I find that a bit daft, but, um, what happened to Savvy? The only thing, um, I'm not so keen on is sometimes they're in a monologue is a bit, um, I don't know, I try a lot to not be like the way that she is, as in overthinking everything, getting stressed at the slightest little thing, so it's a bit like, I don't know want to say it's a bit of a drag, but it's a bit like, a lot of the things that she's focusing on are things that I choose not to, because I think you do have a choice sometimes, uh, say minor things that happen you don't need to get angry over them you know just let it go over your head and I work a lot on that so sometimes that makes the dialogue not the dialogue but just it makes it a bit irritating to me but I'm enjoying the story and I like it's cool that you can choose who you pick up 
um, based on a little bit of information that you get and so there's a little bit of taxi management but it is mainly visual novel isn't it really I didn't press any other buttons except the mouse but yeah that was Neocab I will go because that's been a very long video it feels like and yeah I'm interested to see where the rest of it goes I'm just not I don't know I would play it I think yeah I think I would um I find some of it irritating but a lot of it is intriguing so that's my kind of final thoughts about it so thank you for watching and I'll see you for the next one bye oh look before I go with only a few leads as to Sophie's disappearance you'll begin night two of the Neo Cab on a search for answers you'll have to try and earn enough money for a place to stay manage your star rating and keep a close eye on your field grid to make it to the end of the story stay on the road stay on the search stay human i like that that sounds interesting yeah i, I would play that